After the historic docks on the Isle of Dogs in East London declined and closed, the Canary Wharf complex rose from their ashes, opening in 1991. After initial financial troubles, Canary Wharf is now booming and has seen a quadrupling of jobs in the last decade. More than 100,000 people now work here. To investment bankers like Spaniard Daniel Lopez, who commutes from West London, Canary Wharf is more convenient than the more central city of London. To work in the city is also, is also good, let's say, let's say that, right? Uh, because you're more in the city, you're not uh, so, uh, so apart from uh, where everything happens. But here, you know, you have all the banks together and uh, most of my friends are bankers. So uh, I have all my friends around here. So if I want to have a coffee, if I want to go for a, for a, for a drink or have a lunch or whatever, I, I mean, I have them like two minutes away from, from where I work. He says, however, most of his banking team come from outside the local area. Only one in ten jobs here are taken by locals from Tower Hamlets, one of the UK's most deprived areas. Some locals, like road worker Stephen Newland, who lives south of Canary Wharf, claim the complex has nothing to offer the community. Work-wise, it's brought nothing into us. Every time I go there, there's only a couple of youngsters I know. He's put the prices up for our community, big time. And it's hard, hard for our kids to get, get places. It's done us no favours, buy some money. In Crisp Street Market, to the north of Canary Wharf, other shop owners and locals are more sanguine. I think it's benefiting the customers with regards to shopping, pubs, restaurants, social life, um, not necessarily offering them job opportunities, no. Well, there's loads of jobs there. I've been searching online for my partner and um, there are quite a lot of jobs going there. Admin, um, PA, reception, basically. Like a couple of years ago, it wasn't the same as what the amount is now. But the share of jobs taken by locals is increasing, as Gay Harrington sees it, a local herself who joined the Canary Wharf Group. She says they work hard through outreach to schools and courses at their recruitment and training centre. You'll always get doubters um, in a community that see new buildings going up, a whole new set of, um, a whole new set of um, employment prospects. Um, and a lot of people just look, see all these buildings, think ivory towers, it's very nice but it's not for me. Um, and some actually will say that Canary Wharf has never done anything for them. Um, but an awful lot of people are working here from the local community and um, there are an absolute raft of jobs here from, um, from cleaners, gardeners, um, even hairdressers, the whole lot that service this big community. It's not just a financial uh, business community. People here um, are gradually learning to aspire to these jobs. With this kind of outreach into schools and skills training, Canary Wharf believes it can increase the number of locals who work there. And young people's perceptions have changed. Andrew Ben Salem grew up in the shadow of Canary Wharf and went to school locally in Poplar. With mentoring from bankers, a first class degree in accounting and finance, and getting involved in the Spotlight Youth Centre for the Creative Arts, he sees a future at Canary Wharf. Well, growing up here, I thought I saw Canary Wharf as um, well, a place that I always wanted to eventually work. Um, it stood out to me as you know this amazing place with a lot of opportunities. Um, initially, the perception was, you know, young people in the area could never be able to work in a place like Canary Wharf, and it was just, you know, that place that was so close but so far from the community. But um, I think with the programs that you know, loads of the banks have run with schools, those are one of the many ways that the Canary Wharf area has tried to integrate itself with the community. Some of my friends will have similar views to me that, um, you know. Canary Wharf provides opportunities for young people in the local area and then obviously there will be some that still do think that there's a lot more that Canary Wharf could do. Essentially make their presence a bit more long term. I think Canary Wharf could do a better job of really sustaining their relationships. Canary Wharf Group says the number of jobs here will double to 200,000 in future. Locals largely support its presence but see a long way to go yet before they can find not just employment in the towers but lifelong careers. Kate Allen, Financial Times, London.